Welcome again my friends here on Will Edu Tech. In the previous video we had looked at solving parts A and part B. Now in this video we are going to be looking at solving part C and D of question 8 taken from the CSEC math paper January 2012. Now here in part C, they're asking us which figure in the sequence uses 106 straws, meaning 106 straws. That's an easy two marks. And in part D, they're asking us to obtain an expression in N for the total number of straws used in the nth pattern. And simply, what they mean by the nth pattern pattern rather, the nth pattern means that they're asking us simply to find a formula that no matter what pattern they are dealing with you can use the formula to find out how many straws would make up that pattern okay so that's basically what they are asking you to do number one there are two ways of looking at this you you could look at the pattern in the table rather and devise the formula derive the formula from the pattern in the table however i am going to look at the diagrams okay i, I believe that this is a much easier way to get the, the message across to you now let's analyze the figures the diagrams that we have up here that we were given initially now in the first diagram if you notice number one diagram number number one okay this is diagram figure number one let's count the amount of straws that were given to make this uh, diagram in figure one one two three four five six okay so in figure number one we had a total of six straws okay six straws that was required to make figure number one so now let's move to figure number two so in figure number two let's see how many straws that were used to make that diagram and we have it here in figure number two if you should look in the table there was a total of 11 straws okay so we have a total of 11 straws now in figure number three let's check to see how many in the table we had a total of 16 the number of straws was 16 so in figure number three we had a total of 16 straws okay and obviously in figure number four if you look at the table here in figure number four the four the fourth row here we have a total of 21 straws that was used to make that table now let's just quickly make some simple connections now if you notice what is happening the first figure or the first term it took six straws in figure number one okay now to make figure number two when i moved from figure number one to go to figure number two i had to add five okay my friends now to move from figure number two to go to figure number three i had to add another five to figure number two to get figure number three and also to move from figure number two to get to figure number three rather to get to figure number four I also had to add another five to figure three so basically what is happening I hope you are seeing that sequence and just let me just make a quick note that this is figure number three this is our third term in the sequence and this would be our fourth okay now basically what is happening my friends to get to the next uh, figure in the pattern okay we all we always if you notice we are always adding a constant five okay we have to add five to the previous term to get the next term so basically what I did here I had to add I had to add five to the previous to the previous there to get to my next and let me use a green to get to my next okay and if you notice again there when I was moving from 11 to go to 16 when I was moving from my second term I had to add 5 to my 11 to my second term to get to my third term to get to my third term okay hope you're seeing that sequence there now whenever you have a situation like that when you're adding a constant value to the previous to get the next we call that an, an, an arithmetic progression or an AP series okay so let's make some quick notes up here let's just do some calculations here now basically 
to find d to find the expression the nth term the formula that's what we are working on now we're, we're we don't ready to answer part c as yet okay um to find the nth term now basically we're going to use this because we know that in an arithmetic progression an ap and i'm going to say an ap for short okay a plus open bracket n minus one times d now remember now this a based on what we have said this a represents the first term in the sequence okay so my a here would be the figure number one figure number one here and let me just change my color this would be my a so i'm saying how many straws it took to make the first figure and if you notice here the, the first figure it took six straws right there so my a here is six so basically your first term the value of your first term always substitute that for a and then i'm adding to that n is the amount of terms that i'm speaking about the n and if you notice they said n term so i'm saying n minus one and i'm multiplying that now my friends by my common difference and the common difference is really the constant value that we're adding if you notice we added a five here then we keep on adding another five there in the second then to get to the fourth we have to add another five to the third okay so that is what you call your common difference so i am multiplying that by five so my common difference is d that's the fixed value that we have to that we kept on adding now basically all that i'm going to do i'm just going to simplify this by saying six plus and and basically you know that five is multiplying what's inside the bracket so basically what we're saying here we're saying really five times negative one okay and five times negative one that would give us a minus five okay and then we're saying now five times we're saying five times n and five times n would give us a positive five n so we can just simply simplify this we can say this is really six plus negative five is the same as six minus five which is one and we have a five n there so we have plus five n so basically therefore i can say my nth term the expression to represent my nth term is really 5n i'm just turning it around plus one okay so that's the nth term so we have answered part d by finding the nth term that now quickly let's move on to part c now now that we have the formula for the sequence that connects the figures to the number of straws okay my friends now we can therefore go ahead and find the figure in the sequence that uses 106 straws okay so i'm just simply going to take my nth term this term here that we have just found let me just make note of it 5n plus 1 so let me just pull this up and this is part c i'm doing now okay 5n plus 1 must be equal to the total number of straws the total straws used to make the sequence now basically if you notice they gave us the total number of straws they said that um the total number of straws in this case that they're speaking about is 106 so basically what i'm saying is 5n plus 1 and that must be equal to my total number of straws which is 106 so basically by sub by transposition one is being added to 5n so we are going to have to do the opposite which is to subtract one from both sides 5n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 106 minus 1 okay so here we have a 5n okay and 1 minus 1 we know that a positive 1 will cancel out with a negative 1 and that's equal to 105 so basically what we're doing here my friends is to just divide through by 5 let me just state this on the other side let me just move this up a bit so we can have a little bit more space so here i'm saying 5n is equal to 105 so therefore by transposition again 5 is multiplying n so we have to do the opposite of multiplication which is division so let's divide through by 5 so simply uh we can say five into itself goes once five into that goes once so n is equal to five into itself goes once and five into 105 goes 21 times okay so the number here in part c uh the figure that would carry 
2106 straws rather would be the 21st figure so therefore since it's a worded problem let's just make our statements quickly so there it is my friends the 21st figure consists of 106 straws all right so uh pretty much it's that easy uh feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye